Hello friends, my name is host Eric and I am the host of Talking to Finnish People and tonight we explore a topic called Poor, Sweet, Delightful ENFPs. I have some questions. I'm an ENFP and I have high aspirations, but I actually wrote a poem or more just me writing down my emotions and how I felt on this yesterday when I was crying. A passionate bird cramped inside of the cage of society going through hardship with heart pain with her nose ahead with hopes of the future with tear paint in her eyes seeing her way it might sound a bit dramatic, but when someone would be in my head, they would probably either say that it fits like a glove. I have some questions. One, how can I survive school? Every time I don't put on the mask that they like, then they go crazy. I noticed that today, and that makes me crazy and stressed and anxious. Two, I've already decided what path I want to take in my life. I know exactly what I want, but I'm so extremely anxious, it feels like I could fall down any moment someone touches me. How can I deal with that stress? Three, how can I make people understand me? Literally, only the people who... I've seen explain my personality type seem to even have any idea what's going on in my head, what my head needs, especially my free space and people believing in me and not betraying me. Fourth, and the last one I think, how can I get those worries off my shoulders? It feels like I take all the problems of the world as mine as well, even without wanting to. It's probably because I can tell for the most times how exactly they feel because I can really, really relate to them. Sorry if I'm talking too much, I'm just starting to despair. I literally feel like a bird inside of a cage. Well, Miriam S. Let me tell you something. Number one thing I'm going to tell you. There's nothing wrong with you. Okay? There's nothing wrong with you. And you are, in fact, experiencing the curse of the intuitive. You see this door here? This door represents adolescence. On the other side of this door is the ease and comfort of having sufficient SI experience behind us so we can make better decisions and also understand life better um, an extroverted intuition dominant person like yourself or like me has some challenges in life um, foremost we are last knowers so in some regard you're ahead of the game you know what you want to do in life and that is nice and that probably is a good way for you to uphold your fifth law function of introverted intuition you you can understand a singular course of action singular truth and link it to your fi tool function what you want to do and then how do you survive school with the mask stuff the mask stuff is frustrating it's really frustrating i mean i the mask makes me feel claustrophobic i think that the SI fourth people, like myself and Miriam here, don't deal well with that mask. It's un it makes me feel claustrophobic. I don't know what else to put it. It's it's uncomfortable. I don't like to wear it. It's confining. Um, and when you have to wear it all day, every day, if you're going out in the world to school, then that's got to be stressful and. Especially when people freak out at you because of it. You're extremely anxious. It feels like you could fall down any moment somebody touches you. Well, I would suggest that falling down any time somebody touches you correlates more strongly with uh, <laughs> with like easily falling over than um, like so you maybe have inner ear problems. <laughs> I'm sorry to so loud. I'm not, I, not that I'm not taking it seriously. Um, uh, I get what you're saying. You're saying that you know your heart's not particularly well protected by a barrier of either toughness, meanness, not caringness, or whatever. You care a lot about other people, and you care a lot about how things that are said or done make them feel. And you are able to put yourself in their shoes very easily. And you're stressed. Well, hopefully this video will make you less stressed out. Just for a quick reminder, number one thing to remember, there's nothing wrong with you. Welcome to Intuitive Land, okay? It's just how it goes. 
Um, understand that things change quickly, sometimes on a dime. Sometimes they'll be the same for a long stretch of time, and then boom, everything's different. Have faith in the reality of reality changing, because it does. It Our most difficult times, I think, as intuitives, often are uh, adolescence, childhood, where where matching certain social mores seems to be highly prioritized, maybe excessively prioritized, and um, and we can struggle to to attain significance on those standards because our skill sets lie elsewhere. But, um, you know, one thing I, I recommend to any extrovert intuitive dom is to start a channel. Now, the thing is, as an ENFP, you might be best off starting a channel with comments turned off. Just put up some videos, you know, just talking out your shit. Maybe eventually turn on comments and and have some sort of strict blacklist of words and kind of thing because, you know, it is true that if one is sensitive on YouTube, one's feelings will get hurt. But if you don't have comments on, then nobody can say anything. So um, you, you probably need, as much as anything, the opportunity to express yourself and be heard by people, uh, which is implicit to being an extrovert into her. And your current school situation or social situation or whatever is clearly not affording you enough space safe space to express yourself so try to find that space and YouTube can certainly provide that space and it gives you lots of controls as a creator to to manage how much how much contact you have to come into with uh, with various peoples around the world you know um, obviously you got to be careful if you are a young lady in ways that I don't have to be careful of. So there's that. But even if it's not YouTube, if it's not something public or whatever, it's important for you to find ways to express yourself that have some sort of an audience where you can get, um, where you can feel engaged not just with them personally by your introverted feeling, which ultimately isn't a valued function, but as well with your extroverted intuition, which always will be a valued function, and your introverted intuition, which always will be a valued function. And learning how to express yourself through certain kinds of uh, techniques and media uh, skills is uh, is a worthwhile endeavor because, of course, that will appeal as well to your third slot TE. So I hope this video was helpful. You're always obviously welcome to tune into our live streams and hang out there. People generally are pretty cool. Sometimes you get some some ass wipes around, but uh, you know what? You can always just mute them. It's very easy in YouTube. And uh, besides which, the vast majority of people there would be happy to welcome you if you want to chat in the live streams. I'm, I live stream like all the time, kind of, so I'll probably start live streaming in a little while after this video gets put up. Anyway, thanks for your comment. Hopefully that was helpful and, uh, you know, properly done.